So, if you haven't already seen my introduction to the the new model, the DD Modular Jungle Hammock for 2013, go check out that video because this is just going to be a brief overview of uh, the little tweaks that I've made. If you have seen that video, then you'll know that it's a modular system. This rain fire here can come off. It can go underneath the bug net. Underneath that can be zipped off entirely if you like and that can be removed. And I have added two of my own modules. Here we have my underquilt and my gear shelf. If you've seen the video I made about the mods that I made to the 2012 Daily Hammock, these are exact. this is the same thing. I've just taken them off the 2012 and put them on the 2013. Uh, and I'll just quickly take you through how I've done that because I was worried it was going to be difficult, but it really wasn't. In fact, I think it's worked out better. And I've also got to show you a quick trick I've learned with this rain fly. All right, so let's have a look. If you'll recall from the first video I made about the DD2012 hammock, I made my own DIY underquilt using an old army surplus sleeping bag. Uh, basically just cutting the foot box out so it becomes a rectangle, stitching it up with duct tape, and then attaching it to the bottom of the DD hammock using these whipping knots with mitten hooks attached at the end. So that makes it very modular. On the old model you would attach it to the tabs for uh, guy line tie outs on the base of the, of the hammock. On this one I'm, a, I'm just clipping it to these grommets here. These grommets are intended for the as an optional way to put the uh, arch arches through. Perhaps if you're using it as a bivy then you put the arches through the grommet so it would double up as a peg. Well if you're not using it as a bivy you're going to need an undercoat and the way I've, I've designed this it just clips really nicely to that. I think it actually works better because it's clipping to an, a metal grommet rather than a fabric tab and because these arches keep the grommets at the same distance apart all the time so I think I'm going to get a more uniform fit from this quilt now on this hammock. I think it's going to work out better. I'll quickly show you just around. There you go on this one. I've used bungee cord to create the mitten hooks, to the, the whipping knots and the mitten hooks. So it'll just stretch. It'll just stretch, uh, leaving the quilt exactly where I want it. At each end of the hammock I've basically done the same thing. I've got a whipping knot made out of bungee cord and on the end of that is another little mitten hook which just clips around the whoopee slings at the end there. Done that on each end and that basically holds the whole thing in place very nicely. When it comes to attaching the gear shelf, well, it's yeah, I'm not sure about this yet. This is certainly a temporary measure until I figure out something better. I'm just taking this length of cord and wrapping it over the knot at the end where you join the bug net to the base of the hammock. Just wrapping it over like that. And then I've got this carabiner attached already. And I'm just going to clip that to one of the loops made by this series of overhand knots. And that's that in place. It worked last night, it didn't seem to cause any problems. Um, just not sure if it's going to cause undue stress. So I might think about another way to do that. But that's my two modules from the 2012 system transferred over to the 2013 system. A lot easier than I thought. Okay, I just want to show you what I've learned about the rainfly. It was probably designed like this, I'm not sure, but what I've done, if you can see, is I've clipped the end of uh, the, the rainfly to, to the carabiner, where the whoopee sling joins, where the suspension joins. So I've done that at both ends, and that keeps it really taut. And then it comes with uh, guy lines at the bottom, so you can peg it out. Let me just get a close-up of those. 
Okay, it comes with these guy lines. Used, used to peg out the rain fly, I assume. Or tie out the foliage. Uh, but what I've discovered is, if you add loops to the bottom and draw them across each other, like doors, you can then use the loop and just hook it over the foot of the arch in the same way that you did when you were originally erecting the round fly. And that creates these closed doors and along with uh, the stretch created by clipping to the carabiners at the top it now no longer touches the netting. There's a nice space between this rain fly and the netting so there's not going to be any transfer of moisture. It's definitely going to keep you dry which I really like. The only problem with this method is with this being a fairly small tarp I'm not sure that that is going to keep my underquilt or my gear shelf dry. It's going to keep me dry in the hammock but if you've got heavy rain or sideways rain, that's probably not going to work. So I'm probably still going to have to pack a tarp, a bigger tarp, to throw up if the weather turns really bad. But this is this is perfect for if I know it's going to be a fairly good day, and that's just there for emergencies or for nighttime or whatever. Get a bit of privacy. Absolutely perfect. I love it. Last few points. I have um, replaced this where you used to have to tie a bow knot and just create an infinite loop and added a beaner to it so it just clips on like that I've created the loop just by using two fisherman's bends tie the, tie the rub to itself as if you're tying two different ropes together with fishing bend and that creates the loop and then I just obviously you have to have threaded it through this tab before you create that loop and then you just clip it to the end like that, sorted the other thing is, I was worried with this not having two layers, um, what I was going to do with the mattress, but as you can see, it sits in there nicely. I think with these arches creating a sort of, a sort of tube shape, I slept on it last night and there was no worries about rolling on and off it, it wasn't popping out of place. If anything, it was actually more stable than it has been in the 2012 model. So overall, this is definitely my new sleeping system of choice.